We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. We woke up in West Yellowstone this morning and drove up to Gardner so that we can go into Yellowstone National Park. You're gonna come along with us. If you don't know what this is behind us, this... The entrance. Is the entrance. Today we go visit Old Faithful, but stay tuned for our beautiful ending. Shortly after we entered the park, we came across this big guy. First bison we've seen in the park, all by itself, and that thing is massive. We went and got a second view of them. And then we went and started looking at some more of the geysers. This one is Norris Geyser. There's a whole bunch of them in this area. So they have a little bit of a museum and a couple different directions you can go. We started off here to look at this one because it came with this epic view. But there's a whole lot more to be seen here, including this aqua pool, which looks so refreshing, but we don't recommend jumping in it because 200 degrees is too hot. Keep following the path. There's a lot more to be seen along this epic boardwalk. And just so you know, there are places to sit as you explore this wonderland. We've just arrived, and this is the geyser we came to see. We are in the Norris part of the park right now, and this is where you want to go. They have 70 active geysers, and right behind us is the one of the most popular ones here in this park. With Steamboat behind us, it does make a lot of noise a lot of times. The last major eruption was on July 8th, so... In 2021. In 2021, so that was just over a month ago. Thanks for joining us on our second Yellowstone video. We've got some interesting things to show you on the second half of our journey through this park. There is so much to see. We figured that one video was not going to be close to enough. We figured we would have to spend about a month here in order to do this video any justice. So we're going to do a couple more things here, take you along with us. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. There's a reason that this is called the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. This was a crowded spot, but we could tell why everybody loved it. The views here were absolutely fantastic. You got a really good view of some waterfalls, and you get to see what happens when water runs through an area for a long period of time, creating a beautiful canyon. Plus, they have a walkway down to the bottom of the waterfall, so you can see that up close. And a short distance away, there was another waterfall that we got an opportunity to go see too. And you can see it here as well. Now it's time to go and see some animals. We didn't see any at first, and so we drove for a little bit looking for them. We heard there was some ahead, and then we came upon this spot, which is where they were at. At first we thought, wow, they're kind of far away, but we kept driving. Look what we came upon. And there's more. It looked like the herd was moving, so we followed them for a little bit and were rewarded for our efforts. These guys were right by the side of the road, playing with each other, rolling around in the dirt, and having a great time. Almost as much fun as we were having watching them have a great time. And the best is yet to come. We actually got to watch a mother and her baby calf walk across the street right in front of us. That was a spectacular up close and personal encounter. We loved it. But we got to move on. There's more to see in this amazing park.
So we said a quick goodbye and we're back on the road looking for more adventures. drove by some bison it was actually a herd of it and right after that it was another little geyser right there I'll show you that but it's funny because it's there's like a geyser right there and it's running right next to this river which then there's all this beautiful fields of green it's crazy I don't know this park is just one weird twist after another you can go up to where the mud volcano is or go up to where the mouth of the dragon cave is both well, are pretty interesting. Just don't swim. Oh, it's about to get better. That is the mud volcano. The reason it's boiling because it's boiling hot. Not good for a mud bath. Let's take a quick look at Dragon Mouth Spring. That was another amazing spring and there's so much more to come. Let's talk about this lake real quick. It took so long for us to pass by where this lake was at and there's boating involved too so if you're into boating definitely bring it out this way it must have been an hour's worth of driving at least to get around it look at the size of it but we didn't really want to stop for too long so we kept going and going and going and real quick, we want to give a shout out to our RV family. You guys are awesome and we miss you. We also crossed the Continental Divide. Leave a comment below if you know what that is. We finally made it to what we were looking for, Old Faithful. We waited to the end of the day to come and that was a really smart thing to brilliant. do. <laughs> Definitely. Look, you got to see this crowd. So there's nobody here. Well, I mean, there are people here, but it's so minimal compared to dealing with the morning rush. Yeah, so we're going to be able to find a seat and sit down and maybe capture something for you all to see. Yes. And the other thing is the weather is great right now. Temperature is perfect. We want to show you one eruption. We'll see if we can get that for you. We've never seen it before, so we don't know what to expect. And we don't know when the last eruption was. We'll show you when it happens. enjoyed that as much as we did 
We're not done yet. We've got one more stop to make in this amazing adventure. Stay tuned, because we're on our way there. Just enjoy the last little specks of Old Faithful and her last little bit of explosive nature. Back on the road for our last stop and the sun is setting so we gotta move quick because we don't want to miss what beauty it lies before us. The colors that come out of this spring are renowned worldwide. And as you can see, the steam coming off of this geyser is real. These are hot, so we're not getting in them. Nobody's allowed to. They also have a very designated pathway so you can stay safe. And there goes the sun, so we got to get the last bit in we can. These are some of the most beautiful and spectacularly colorful geysers that exist in the park. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to fly drones in this park anymore, so we're not going to get an overhead shot. Those are out there and available for anybody who wants to see, but we're just going to have to get these up close and personal shots and get that beautiful sunset reflection. We hope you enjoyed it. We know we did. This is an amazing park, and we hope you get a chance to get out there. Thanks for watching our second video, and enjoy this view. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.